You guys, welcome back to a new PDCGL Fusion Strike video. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at an updated Mad Party deck. And Mad Party has some new tools that do make it a lot more playable in our current standard format. Now, of course, Mad Party, we all know the deck. You put Mad Partiers in your discard pile so that you can do more damage overall. Now, Mad Party did get hit pretty hard with rotation, losing cards like Triple Energy, and of course, a big one being Mew was a big deal, and also the popularity of cards like Rampant Strike and Teleon just made it really hard for Mad Party to really see any success. However, I'm here to say that Mad Party does have some cool tricks up its sleeve that can still make it somewhat playable. You just gotta kind of avoid the big Ben Snipe decks like Dragapult, Jolteon, and Rapid Strike, Urshifu, and this deck can actually be decent. Of course, some of the big once is Zoark. I think Zoark is a fantastic card in the deck, allowing you to have multiple different attackers to choose from. You can use Zoark to actually turn it into a Poltegeist, and you also have Zoark to turn it into a Gorbis. Gorbis is a really good card in Mad Party, as your opponent's Pokemon with Rapid Strike abilities have no ability. So basically, Gorbis shuts off Inteleon from being able to quick shooting you, which is a big deal when you're playing this deck. And of course, also turning into like an extra attacker like Flapple could be really good. So it just kind of gives Mad Party a little bit more kind of power and choices to kind of counter some of its weaknesses. Um, so Zork, I think, was a fantastic new addition to the Mad Party archetype. So forget the video course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin, they'll sell codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are ever looking to get any PDC Joe codes, make sure to go get them over at Card Cabin. Of course, guys, you're going to be picking up any Fusion Strike codes, get them over there. Or if you're looking for any other sets, or if you're looking for IRL Pokemon TCG singles, Card Cabin does sell IRL singles too. So if you get anything at Card Cabin at the checkout, be sure to use code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up put Card Cabin. So shout out to Card Cabin, check them out, and be sure to use code LDF if you get any codes at Card Cabin. So this is the Mad Party list I've been rocking with. Again, I think Zoark is a really good addition to the deck. Now, there is an issue, it is kind of just space in this deck. Um, obviously, Mad Party did lose to Dene GX, which is another kind of big loss for the deck. Um, I've seen some people try Mad Party out with Articuno to discard two cards from your hand. Um, and that's not a terrible idea to play in here if you really want to play it. Um, but I'm just, there's not enough room. We're fitting in a lot of stage one Pokemon, as you can see. The Zoark line, we don't even play a 4-4 of because there's just not enough space. Um, and then we have our draw supporters. Thankfully, we do have actually some decent supporters. Of course, Research, the classic. We got Zinnia's Resolve, which is a pretty cool. Discard two cards from your hand. Draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Really good card, because um, sometimes you don't want to research your entire hand away. It can be very bad to lose energy. We got Alistair. Draw three cards. If you do three cards, um, you can discard up to three cards in your hand. So you can kind of do this to discard extra Mad Partiers. And then, of course, we have Milo. Discard two cards from your hand, and then draw two cards for each card discarded in this way. So just all ways to discard cards from our hand. I'm just playing four capture energy and four twin energy for my energy count. Um, you could try out like a Raihan basic energy build. That's not terrible either. Um, but with capture energy, you know, you go first, you can get an extra energy down. You can also use capture energy with Flapple's Acidic Mucus. Flapple's a really good backup attacker in this deck with the Zoark. So I like having the Flapple in the deck. Again, it's really tight on space because we are playing 27 Pokemon which is insane. And we kind of want to play more Zoarks if we can. So it's like, there's not enough space for everything I wanted to put in here, but this is what I'm rocking with. Zoark, Mad Party, let's go try it out. Okay, we won the coin flip here with Mad Party. We're up against potentially single strike. As long as we're not playing against a spread deck, we should be fine. Now, I'm actually going to lead with Zorua. Actually, we'll leave with Sinesti. I, they're playing, oh, they're playing single strike. They can just kill me with like Houndour or Umbreon. So I don't know, that's... That might just be a bad call on my end. I can always capture energy, though, and get another thing. Yeah, well, okay, we're not playing against... It looks like the best single strike deck, but the nice thing is Urshifu is weak to Psychic, so that's good. We get to draw two cards, which is very good. None of those cards are very good, though. And they start with Houndour. I should have started with Zarua, because they, of course, open with the Houndour. You'll love to see it. Great game. Uh, it's forgotten to retreat. I can't really afford to lose an SD. I can capture energy here. And then grab another Sinesti. We can retreat Zorua and attack. I guess I should have started Houndour the whole time. But, I mean, they could have led with a single strike Urshi. And it might not have mattered. So, I don't know. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That's so annoying. Do they have a Marnie? They don't have a Marnie. All right. So, we got to play Alistair here. To try to get a uh, something good. Oh, there we go. That is something good. That is going to be our uh, Poltegeist. The problem is, though, the Umbreon is in play. So, I don't know. If we go Poltegeist, they just come with mean looks. Let's just do this first. Do we get... 
Got some stuff. We'll take it. Kind of want to attack with Bunnelby this turn. Hmm. All right, let's do this. And then let's draw some cards. Yeah, I don't really want to do T-Break here because I don't want to lose. I guess I can knock him out Zoark, actually. Yeah, you know what? That's just probably fine. Just KO with Zoark here. I'm actually fine with that. And then we can do this. Grab another Zoruba. And then I'll just Night Days for the knockout. That's probably better than just, yeah, obviously. Because I don't want to lose my Senesti here. We need to use it to draw cards. So let's, let's just knock this out. Um, That's fine. They actually can't KO me with Umbreon, and I could do Phantom Transformation. I could see Flapple being really good in this matchup, too. Um, my opponent might play a lot of abilities, so Zoarking into Flapple could be good. But I don't think I'm going to KO me. I guess they could do Umbreon VMAX and Gust me, but, like, that's not going to do anything. Because I, anything I, anything they bring in, I can move. Um, like Sinesti. Unless they have a switch here and they want to knock me with Bite. I can't me with Hound Dower, though. I feel like it doesn't really do anything for my opponent, though. You know? So I don't know if that's a good idea. It's going to pass. All right, so we can attack here with um, Poltegeist. I guess we'll do it, sure. We might be doing more damage with Zohark, though, to be honest with you, so I don't know. Um, we definitely are. All right, we can T-break away a Poltegeist for Zohark, so that's good. Um, hmm, didn't get many Mad Partiers there. We're doing 80 damage right now. I mean, I guess we'll attack with Poltegeist. I could just boss the Hound Hour. They can't attack me next turn. That's probably just better. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. And then next turn, we can Zinnia here and then try to draw some cards. I need to get... I mean, they only have one Pokemon in place. I don't know. All right, another Evil Wind Sense. I did prize two of my Mr. Rhymes, I think. So I don't think I have any Rhymes left to tea break away. So that kind of sucks. But let's see what they do here. They're kind of dead drawing. It was good we knocked out their Hound Hours early on, which makes them pretty stuck here. I mean, this Umbreon will attack me next turn, but that's not a big deal. Zinnia, perfect, so we can just play Zinnia. We're only drawing a single card here, but it's better than nothing. Especially when we have Tea Break on our side. Um, oh, we do have a Rhyme. I, okay, I prized only one Rhyme. I thought I prized two. All right, now we can start racking up the damage even more here. Which is good. We can do another Tea Break. I kind of want to find Bunnelby if I can. Great ball for Bunnelby. There we go. I wanted to get Bunnelby into play. And I can... Energy here. Grab another bundle B. And then I can just Mad Party for a decent chunk of damage. How much is that doing? 120. So we can't knock them out next turn, I don't think. Unless I pop off. They're gonna KO me. We're gonna do 140. Um Yeah, I don't know. We need to get a lot of mad partiers in the discard. Still though, we're in a really good spot right now. I mean, they're only taking their first prize. We've crippled their hound hours thanks to boss's order. And they started with it. And I think we're pretty far ahead in the game now where we can probably make a comeback. Or not even a comeback, just kind of win the game. If they... Hmm. If they have more abilities, I could KO them with Flapple here, but I don't think I can pull that off because they only have two abilities in play. Only doing 100. I need them to put two abilities down this turn. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to KO them, but we'll still swing with Bunnelby. We'll save the Poltegeist for the uh, single strike Urshi. Okay, so let's see what we draw here. Level Ball's good. All right, I can go... Wind Energy, Level Ball, or Dedene. I don't know if we're going to get the knockout, but we'll try. I can do this. I can Quick Ball. Grab the Dedene. I still have a Poltegeist left, so I can still bench Sinest. We'll do Tea Break here. Get rid of the Dedene. And then we'll see what we get here. Ooh. We've gotten... We're still doing one... Hmm. Okay, hold on. I can do Zinnia. We can draw four cards. I might be getting somewhere here. Great Ball. I think that's a knockout. Yeah, I think we have a KO here because we can go quick ball here, grab Bunnelby, and then I can retreat into Bunnelby. I think that's a knockout. Yeah, I think that's a KO. Let's see, Mad Party. Yep, that's a knockout. There we go, 220 damage. Bye-bye, Umbreon VMAX. All right, we need to find boss to kind of finish the game off here. But either way, we're really far ahead. We're really far ahead. The problem is the Zoark already has two caps on it. Yeah, they just conceded. I was going to say. We probably just have game here. Their only attacker is Urshifu. And um, the fact that we were able to kind of KO their Hound Hours, which is good. I mean, Mad Party does little damage early on. And KOing the Hound Hours there put us pretty far ahead in the match. And that was good. Umbreon was a little scary, though. But at least we didn't have to worry about it too much. All right, looks like we're going first again here. All right, we'll take it. Now, we'll see what we're playing against here and how we're looking. All right, we got a Bunnelby start. It's not terrible. Um, actually, this hand's actually not too bad, as long as we don't get knocked. 
Um, that's fine. Well, we're not going to get Dawn because we have Bunnelby and Capture Energy. Now, the question is, what do I Capture Energy for? Honestly, I think I'm going to grab Poltegeist or Sinesti, sorry, just to have the ability to do Tea Break. I could also get Zoark, obviously. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we are going to hopefully draw something good here. Oh, we're playing against a deck using Inteleon. As long as it's not good old... Well, I mean, e even if it is Urshifu, if we can set up enough Poltegeists, technically it's not that bad because of Poltegeists, you know, typing against Urshi, but Rapid Flow is just still really hard to play around. Especially if they can do Rapid Flow twice in a turn. I don't know how we can counter that. Like, or not twice in a turn, twice in a row. So is it going to be a spread deck? Let's find out. Did we run into Jolteon or Urshi or Dragapult? The three big decks we want to avoid when playing Mad Party. No, we hit a Bolton deck. Okay, that's perfectly beatable. And there's Gorbis. Long time no see. Let's do this. Grab Poltegeist. Now I do want to get Zora down because we are going to want to use this thing. Um, and I am going to be able to knock him out this turn, which is pretty good. So let's go Zinnia's Resolve. There's perfect. Capture Energy. Beautiful. Grab another Zorua. We'll bench Zorua. And we will level ball or probably another Bunnelby. Then we will tea break here and hope for the best. Okay. Another capture G is not bad. I need to get Flap on the discard. We can KO them here. We're probably going to get KO'd in return. Actually, they have to get Cemetery in play to knock me out, which is actually fine. So they, if they don't get old Cemetery here, they're not going to KO me. Hmm. We just need to make sure we're taking a prize every turn. I actually don't know if we can pull that off. Um, to be honest. It might actually be hard to take a prize every turn. Um, we don't have any Mad Partiers in our hand, unfortunately. And no way to find a Mad Partier in our hand. No supporter. They're gonna boss. Okay, they're gonna corner me, I guess. Okay, this is good. The fact they don't have anything is really good. That makes our win con process a bit better. Perfect. Nice. Um, but what do I draw? Boss? Ooh, I could've KO'd Sobble. I can't do anything here. I can't do any shenanigans unfortunately best thing i could do is i guess i can retreat ko sobble do i even want to do that though is the question i honestly don't even know if i like that i need to kill the bolt hunt but uh, i guess this is fine that's fine we'll kill sobble there's no reason not to i just yeah we don't i want to i don't want to damage this either because i don't want to give them defiant spark yeah we take out their sobbles they have no drizzles now they're already in topic mode. Plus, they now they don't have Drizzle to find Old Cemetery, which makes it easier for us to survive the turn. Corner doesn't knock me out. It only does 30 damage. So we live by a threat. Unfortunately, the prize, though, didn't help us. Our hand is still pretty dead. We need to find a supporter or another Mad Partier so we can stay in this game. And it looks like they're not going to KO me this turn, which is good. I need to get the Gorbis in play very soon, too, because once they set up quick shooting, we're in trouble. We'll see. Again, we just need, like, a supporter or something. Or they Marnie us. You're wondering why I didn't evolve into Zork, by the way, yet. It's because I don't want my opponent to knock out my Zork with um, Defiant Spark. I'd rather just wait until we can evolve it. There we go. We drew a Mad Party here. We can draw two more cards. We need to find something here that can draw us cards. We get a Quick Ball. It's not quite it. We can get rid of Gorbis here, though, which is nice. Grab the Dene for next turn, I guess. And then I can... I'd party, I guess, for 80 damage. Why not? I mean, there's no reason not to attack him there. Actually, there maybe was a reason not to attack him, so we don't walk into a Defiant Spark, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, I guess they could, like, boss Poltegeist, but then Matt Bunnelby stays alive, which is still good for us. Um, They're not going to be able to quick shooting me this turn, so we have one extra turn. Honestly, I probably should have vulnerable a Zork. Again, if I put Zork in play, though, and they just boss Defiant Spark KO it, and then I don't have Gorbis, that could suck, so I'd rather wait. Um, They are putting abilities into play, though. Which is nice. I wonder if Yamper would be a good card to play in this deck. If we play like a Pokeball Great Ball engine and we play Yamper, there's like a two of, that'd be pretty cool actually. But I feel like the Yamper doesn't do much. So I don't know. Yeah, there's Drizzle. We can find Flapple soon too. Flap will be pretty good. We're kind of running on, so we have one capture energy and four twins left. So we have five energy in the deck. We gotta be a little careful there. So they can, hmm, I don't know. They can finally get a supporter. And hopefully we can uh, draw a bit better here. We still need a... I mean, we've only played one draw support of this match. I mean, I don't play a whole lot of them. I don't play Crobat either, so there you go. The more abilities they put in play, the better, though, because then my uh, my Flapple can actually put in work. And I think we're going to need Flapple here um, very soon. We'll see how it goes. 
Honestly, my opponent can make a comeback if I do with an energy for next turn, and that could happen. I'm only seeing three cards next turn so far, unless I can top deck a little bit better. So far, I'm not drawing the hottest. Oh, they're going to Marnie me. That's a honestly a pretty... I mean, that's fine. I'm not going to say it's a mistake, but that's good for us. The only problem is I don't have Zoark any, anymore, but I should find it. There we go. <sighs> we have to lose our capture energy, though. Hmm. That's fine. There's Hill Cemetery. That's going to stay in play the entire match. Hmm. Best top deck here. Probably a Mad Partier. But I need to dig for Zoark. I need to make sure they don't have quick shooting. Because we're going to have to take the damage from the old Cemetery here on our Bunnelby. This is fine. Okay, we can take him out still. We're going to lose two energy in the process. So I wouldn't mind drawing like an Alistair or something. No, but we do draw Zoark. Actually, hmm. What I can do is I can go Zoark here. And I can transform into Gorbis. Then I can attach. We have to lose the capture energy. We, we have three energy. I mean, I guess it's going to have to be enough to win the game, I hope. All right, level ball. Have the Dene. And then we'll start drawing more cards here with T-Break. See what we can find. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Probably gonna raw... I maybe could have rotted last turn. I don't know. Great ball. There's Flapple. Do I put that in my hand now, though? It could Marnie me again. But no, we'll put it in our hand now. Should probably rod the uh, Zoarks back while I'm at it. Could bench Sinesti here, because we have a third Poltegeist in the deck. Sure. I can Eva Windsense for Zoark here. Or I can save it for Rhyme. I think I save it. Yeah, I'm just going to save it and just knock him out Mad Party. So we just have to make sure we get a KO every turn if we're going to win this. There's Alistair. <laughs> I mean, we have four supporters. Actually, a Marnie would be really, really bad. Maybe I shouldn't have just, like, I don't know. I mean, it would be nice if my hand didn't have four supporters in it, but whatever. I still have two research in the deck. Or one research left. Hmm. We can shuffle the deck, though, and do tea break if we get lucky. That's why I didn't play the Evil Winsense, because I want to make sure I... If I get Marnied, I still can draw, like, a Rhyme or something. I don't even know what I'm doing next turn anyways. I mean, mind you, I might attack with Flapple. We'll see, though. We only have... We only have three twins left. So it's basically just... We have to make sure we attack every turn to win. But I think we can. I mean, all their attackers are low HP enough. I think we'll be fine. And, I mean, if they have a turn where they KO Gorbis and they don't knock out Bunnelby, then my energy stays in play anyway. So they kind of have to go for the... They just have to, I think have to, they have to keep attacking my attacker every turn. They could try to, like... Tr I guess what they could do is they could trap me with Corner. They could trap Gorbis with Corner. But, like, by the time they KO it, I can just go Zoark again. Which I feel like is just fine. I can just Zoark the Gorbis anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, as long as I can do Zoark... And just, yeah, that's fine. My question is, what supporter will I play next turn if they don't Marnie me here? I don't know. Kind of think. Well, Flapple isn't doing much right now. I'm just doing 150. But now they're, now they're not doing much. Unless they bench another Yamper. I'll probably just attack with Pulte, guys. But honestly, if I can save my Pulte, guys, I, that'd be good because I need to make sure I'm drawing cards every turn. Every turn, we need to make sure we're finding a twin energy. That's the big thing. I, I wouldn't mind attacking with Bunnelby again or... I mean, we only have one bunny left. I don't know. Because I need to make sure I'm drawing cards every turn. Because if I if I need to make sure I'm finding twin all the time. So I might have to just kind of keep that. I don't know. We'll see what supporter they're going to play. There's another Drizzle. Yeah, Gorbis putting in work right now. No Intellion for you, buddy. And, alright, that's going to kill me. Alright, so... I think we just... Yeah, we got to go pull the guy's KO. Which does KO it, I'm pretty sure. There's definitely enough damage in there. Uh, speak of the devil, there's the third Pultigeist. Do I just do Alistair? Alistair's the supporter that's going to draw me the least amount of cards, which I think is probably fine. I'm going to go Evil Incense for Zoark. I'm going to get another Zoruwa down if I can. Alistair's drawing us the least amount of cards, so I'd rather just play Alistair. And I'll bench you... Do another tea break here. Another deck a little bit. We have all our supporters in our hand, which is a little annoying. But whatever. 
And then I'm just gonna hold the hand and just add party. Yeah, we all of our remaining draws. So actually, all of our remaining supporters are just in our hand. So Marnie could body us. But this is why I'm not doing too many tea breaks, so I can keep mad partiers in my deck. So if they Marnie me, I can still draw cards. So we just again, if we attack every turn, we should win the game. We just have to make sure we attack every single turn. We're close. We have two twins left. Actually, as long as we didn't prize our last twin energy. If our last twin energy is prized, we're probably going to lose. I don't know if it is prized or not. That's the problem. I mean, you could play nine energy in the deck. You could, like, if you want to play an extra energy, you could. I don't know what else you'd play, though. Like, lucky energy, powerful energy wouldn't be a terrible idea either. I actually consider powerful energy in here for Bunnelby. It's not a terrible idea. Just having an extra energy is good, because especially when we're trying to use Flapple here as an attacker. They got a Bruno. They could whiff the Boltund here, potentially. They only have two left. They didn't rod, so they could whiff Boltund, which could be good. Um, they whiff Boltund here. That'd be pretty nice. They're probably not going to. Well, maybe. Great Ball might not find Boltund. They can get Yamper. Nope, they got Boltund. They did Bruno, though. We keep our hand. Question is, what supporter am I playing? Probably Milo. If I can thin out useless cards. I don't know, we just gotta... Well, I could honestly just research and just dump my entire hand. But I think I'll settle with Milo. I mean, we're not, like, insanely far behind in this matchup. How many Zoraks do we have left? Still Volvo. Okay. I'll promote Zorak here and turn into a Poltegeist. Or Flapple. No, it has to be Poltegeist, right? It doesn't really matter what I promote. Nothing can survive a turn. It doesn't matter what I promote here then, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter what I promote. Alright. Let's see what our trap deck is. The Zork's good. I just need to know if we have... I need to know if we have both twins in the deck. Honestly, okay, we, uh, we got one. I know that. We'll do tea break. Let's see what we get here. Hmm. Do tea break again. Hmm. No twin energy still. They don't have an... Oh, yeah. They don't have a uh, Yamper down. So I actually really want to take a KO here. I think I have to Milo. There we go. This is a little scary. The fact they have another Yamper... You, actually, you know what? I would have lost if they just cornered my Gorbis. I just realized they could have won by cornering Gorbis. I don't know. Is the Twin Energy going to be in the deck? We'll find out. They can't take a prize this turn unless they Raihan into Inteleon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could pull that off. The fact they can't corner Gorbis is insane, though. I was thinking to myself, oh, we lose. Well, we just lose if we don't have energy in the deck. If our last energy is our very last prize card, we lose the game. Assuming they don't knock me out. And we got him. Woo! I guess I'll never know if my energy was prized. Probably should have played Quick Ball when I had the chance. Um, so if they had another Bolt on there, they would have won by bossing my Gorbis and stalling me out. So I guess the Bolt on matchup's a little scary because you need to put Gorbis in play to, to win. But like, it's also corner bait. So I don't know. Maybe that's just like, I don't know. That could be a, that could be a bad matchup if things go poorly. We lost a coin flip here. Playing against a Lightning deck. So we'll see. If it's Jolteon, then uh, we're in trouble. Got a pretty good hand, too, so I like it. I like the starting hand. We can do some early damage with Mad Party. Is it Rayquaza? Uh, it might be Jolteon. I can't tell. It might be Pikachu VMAX, which is a meme, but you know what? As long as it's not Jolteon, we're fine. We just, like, we literally just can't beat Jolteon. Um, it's 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 an unwinnable matchup. Because not only do they have the you know, Max Thunder Rumble, we also can't even... They have Cheryl, so it's, like, it's a terrible matchup. If it's Jolteon, we might as well concede. There's, like, no way we can beat Jolteon. Jolteon, Rapid Strike, Urshifu, Dragapult, the three horsemen of the apocalypse. Any deck that can that can knock out your multiple Pokemon at once with Ben Sniping is just unwinnable. It's just the way it goes. Could be Pikachu VMAX, though. Which, if it is, we can definitely beat Pikachu VMAX, because they probably don't play Ben Sniping, unless they have, like, Reggie Lecky. But even then, that's not even, like, going to KO most of my stuff. Perfect. It is a Flappy deck. So it is Pikachu VMAX. All right. I'll take it. Um, our start is really good. Flappy is also a deck that does tend to put abilities in play for Flapple, which makes our Flapple pretty good. But yeah, our hand is pretty bonkers here. 
We actually can take a KO this turn, potentially. Actually, no, we can't. I'm not going to play the Twin Energy then, because we actually don't have a knockout on the uh, Marie Pierre. I can go Milo. I guess I could research. Oh, it might be Bolt on VMAX, actually. Okay, they're. I think they're playing Bolt on VMAX, actually. It's not Pikachu. Or maybe it is a Pikachu. No, it's Bolt on. Okay, that's fine. I... Hmm. I can take a KO. Potentially, I mean, Great Ball has to not fail. But I don't know if it's worth it to knock him out. I don't know. All right, well, let's just see what we got off Great Ball here. Another Bunnelby. I'll bench that. I guess taking the knockout isn't terrible. Gotta make sure. What do we have prized? Eh, mostly everything's there. We prize one Twin Energy. Hmm. So I don't know if it's worth it to KO them here. Because then they'll knock me out Bolt Storm. Honestly, I th I'd rather use this time to set up my stuff. I also don't even care if this evolves into a Flaffy because that just fuels our Flapple. Honestly, yeah, I might just, I might just not even, I'm not even gonna go for the KO. I think I'm just gonna set up my board a little bit. There's no need to KO them. In my opinion. In my opinion, I don't think we need to knock them out here. It might be, you know, a bad take and all, but no, I think it's correct. I think it's fine to not knock them out here. They could be stuck in the active too. You can buy me a turn, build up more Pokemon in the discard pile. It's never a bad thing. Pretty good hand. All right. We're chilling. We're chilling. I don't know. Knocking them out just feels kind of weak. I don't even like... I don't know. I just feel like KOing them just was unnecessary there. It's like our game plan... Our game plan might have to be take out three Bolt Hunts though, which could make things complicated, but we'll see. We'll see if they decide to KO me. If they KO me, we can do a buttload of damage in return. And hopefully they put more Pokemon in play. Oh, they are playing Rayquaza. Oh, they have a Marnie. No, damn it. Our hand was so good. Oh, you hate to see it, bro. The Marnie cheese. Rayquaza doesn't even play Marnie. That's that's unfortunate. Okay, they almost bricked me. At least we, at least we got some stuff. Classic Marnie. Okay, they're putting... They can put four abilities in play. We can do 200 damage, which can kill a Bolton in one hit. So we'll swing with Bunnelby, I guess. All right. Shuffle the deck here. And play Capture G. Grab a third Zorua. And then we'll do this. And then I'll T-break away the Rhyme. Nice. Grab another Mr. Rhyme. I can go pull the guys level ball, actually get rid of Dene. Here. Don't think it matters too much. Just draw some cards. We're not going to KO them. It's fine, though. Grab the Dene. I need to get Flapple in the discard, though, soon. That's why I'm kind of upset they marnied me there, because I could have gotten Flapple. Okay, we got Zinnia, but I, ooh, I can't get rid of any cards in my hand. I can get rid of the twin. No, I don't. Okay, let's just mad party them. I don't want to lose my twin energy. Just wait a turn. We're not knocking them out anyways. It's not like we need to go for the knockout there. We can pop off next turn, which is good. Um, they might even go... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, they might go into Rayquaza. I guess, actually, not putting Flap on play yet is good because my opponent doesn't know I have it. So, they're actually putting more abilities in play. I mean, we're already doing 150, so... That's good. They do play Scrapper, which is annoying. Good thing it's gone now. We can take out Bolt Hunt here, and then we can KO this Bolt Hunt. KO the Bolt Hunt doesn't stop their abilities either. Or it doesn't remove an ability from play, which is good. They could put the VMAX in play here. Um, which is a little sketchy, because if I didn't do enough damage to Flapple them. But yeah, they just bolster them, right? I do have to attack here with Poltegeist, though. But we got... That's why I got Zorg. That's why Zorg is so good, because it adds... It counts as extra Poltegeist, which is just nuts. We drew our Air Balloon. That's... That's a big fat F. But I'm going to get rid of it because I need to draw cards. And hopefully we can take a KO here. Let's see how it goes. Got to go Evil Wind Sense. Get Rhyme. This is why I kept the uh, Rhyme in the deck that last turn. As you can see, it's kind of coming in clutch right now. 
And we'll tea break again. So how much are we doing here? I think we're knocking them out, right? 80. Yep, that's a KO. I'll bench Bunnelby. And then I will... Knock him out. Still want to find Flapple next turn. Hopefully we can do that. So we'll take him out here. Take our prizes. Great Ball's good. And Rhyme is good. Good prizes. So we'll see if they Marty me again. Again, I, Rayquaza playing Marty's kind of sus. So I don't know. Like, Marty's just not a good card to play in Rayquaza, in my opinion. But we'll see if they play anymore. Because this hand is pretty damn good. I am kind of scared of a Marnie. I'm not going to lie. A Marnie does kind of spook me a little bit. I need to... That's why I need to get Flapple in play, though. I need to establish that one energy attacker. So if I draw Capture G, I can still use Flapple. That's why I need to establish the uh, Flapple here so we have that Capture. Because if they Marnie me and I get Capture G, I can, you know, use it with Flapple so I can still attack without having to dig for Twin. We'll see what they do. Okay, there we go. We're doing 200 damage right now with Pultigeist. Or with Flapple. Which means Bolton gets one to KO'd. I could probably KO them, actually... With Flapple here, if I can um, find it. I have Great Ball, plus Alistair, Zinnia, plus T-Break. You do T-Break first. All right, just don't Marnie me, please, good sir. Just do not Marnie me. Do not Marnie me. That would be absolutely fantastic if you would not play that cheese. Not today, Chief. Not today. No Marnie, one time. They have Azor Pulse. They're still drawing cards. I wouldn't mind them getting another Rayquaza VMAX in play, and then we're doing 250 damage, which doesn't make a difference, but it kind of does. Okay, just don't Marty me. I'm begging you. Oh, they don't put the VMAX in play. I'm surprised they didn't put both on VMAX in play. I guess we can two-shot and then just win on Flappy. I guess that makes sense, actually. Yeah, it makes sense. Whatever. If they bench a third Rayquaza or Bolton, we can knock that out and win the game. In fact, if they bench another Rayquaza here or Bolton, I would not mind killing it now, and then I can just kill Bolton later on. Okay, no Marnie. Thank God. They could go Crobat. No, they fail the Quick Ball. Okay. I think we're still on par to winning the game. I want to KO him this turn. So we're doing... How much did we do last turn? We did... 140. So now we're doing 160. So we should be able to KO them. I might have... Oh, I might have the Zork into a Pulte Geist, though. Hmm. I think that is a KO. Do Great Ball. Could be a knockout. Looks like we're not going to be able to use Flapple here. I can Alistair first. There we go. Capture G. Hmm. So I did prize on my twins, right? We are. Are we doing 200 damage here? We're definitely doing 200, right? We'll grab another Bunnelby. I was hoping for Sinesti. I think I prized a couple. So this is a knockout, right? 80. Should be 200. Okay, 100. 180. Oh, no, we're one off, actually, I think, right? Because that's, that's 120. That's a knockout. So we're doing 200 on the dot. All right, cool. Uh, I don't think I want to do anything else. I think I'm just going to knock him out here. Seems good to me. Just KO them, and then... We still have to go through Rayquaza, but they still have to knock out two Pokemon, so see how it goes. We could still get Marnie, but they have to find a Marnie off of a three-card draw. That seems pretty weak. If they just bench another Pokemon, like a Rayquaza V or a Bolton, we just win the game with boss, assuming they don't Marnie me. Do we have our other boss in the deck? We do, so it's in there still. I think our I think our last few prizes is a twin energy. And a thing. There's Bolton. All right, now we win. And there's no Marnie. All right, that is GG's because we can either win with Flapple or Pult or Bunnelby. So that is game unless they big charm the Bolton. Um, actually, not even that would save them because I could still do like 260 damage this turn with Mad Party. So that, that should be GG's. They have to basically disrupt my hand here or like... that's That should be game. I don't think they have anything they can do this turn to like disrupt me. They'd have to like attack me with like Reggie Lecky and knock out... I guess, yo, oh, they could have won with Regilecki, actually. They actually did play Regilecki. We would have lost. They could have killed both Bunnelbees and the Pultigeist. But they don't play it, so we don't have to worry about it. That is game. Um, we were probably going to win regardless, because all we have to do is hit this Rayquaza twice. But they benched the Boltund for me. I was hoping they would bench a Boltund or a Rayquaza V here so that we can just win with a boss instead of having to hit Rayquaza twice. But um, 
either or would have probably worked as long as they had no way to take two prizes in one turn and as long as they still had boss somewhere in the deck we were probably winning the game um so yeah i'm happy to see it there you go this is mad party in action for you folks um it's really good still against decks that do not have what why would they go oh i guess they didn't have the fire energy so that's just ggs then i guess they didn't have a fire energy uh, but that is game i can either go flapple or bunnel b but since we're playing mad party we got to go out with a bang and go out with a bunnel b we did have both boston decks so we would have won the game regardless here because we could have hit the rayquaza and then hit it again to win the game with like flapple or something and there we go that is ggs with mad party and that'll be it for the video guys on my mad party upgraded mad party deck i think mad party is still kind of cool again you just got to watch out for the things hey we finished the ladder Ooh, nice look at that finish the ladder insane stuff full art peers what a busted card not really but mad party with zoark really good combo in my opinion definitely give this deck a try you just got to avoid decks that snipe you but i mean that's most single prize decks like if you're gonna play any single prize deck and you get paired against you know a heavy hit bench snipe deck i mean it's not like you can win half the time anyways but mad party especially but overall like if you're playing as a deck that doesn't have bench sniping and doesn't have weird cheesy ways to beat you usually this deck can still pack a punch i think zork was a fantastic new upgrade to the deck let me know guys thought of the video down below if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you guys are new to the channel subscribe help me in the road to reaching 23k subs check out car cabin down below use code ldf check out my discord server check out my twitch channel uh follow me on twitch uh, check out my twitter help me on the road to reaching uh, 3k followers and uh, I will see you guys in another PDCGO video. Peace out. Have a good day and bye-bye.